All right, so I am super excited because in this video, I'm gonna show you, you don't have to spend another thousand to equip your RV with the essentials. No, no, no. We're gonna go inside to Walmart. I'm gonna show you exactly what you need, but this is important. There are two things that you should not, under any circumstances, purchase for your RV from Walmart. And we're gonna talk about those two. Let's get started. Alrighty, so here we are at our local Walmart in Central Florida. Now, this is where you can get all of the essentials, right? The basics. When you first start RVing, you really don't need a ton, but there are a few basics that you absolutely must have. So we're gonna take a look at those and you can get them right here for cheap. So the first thing that you're gonna need that your RV does not come with when it is new, and if you purchase used, then you probably still want to pick up a spare, and that is a sewer hose. So you're gonna need one of these things because you gotta move the waste somewhere. So here we've got a 15 foot, a 20 foot. These are under $40, so super cheap way to pick up something that is absolutely an essential RV item. Now here's the other thing. They've got a lot of accessories here too. So you have a sewer hose extension. These come in handy because not all RV sites are made equal. And you are gonna find in some cases that where those sewer hookups are, could be quite a bit of distance away from where your RV or your camper is. So an extension is nice to have or if you just carry two sewer hoses that you can put together, we do that also. You've got your clear elbows so that you can actually see. Yes, I know it sounds gross, but this is important because you wanna make sure that you actually do have stuff draining out of your tanks and that you don't have any clogs and this helps you to be able to put a visual with that right there. Another thing that they require at a lot of campgrounds, especially in different states, is some sort of a rubber gasket to help seal that connection. So you could pick those up here, $8.47. Cheap, cheap way to get started with the basics. Let's talk about the next essential that you're going to need when you purchase that brand new RV. And then in just a minute, I'm gonna talk about one of the things you should not buy at Walmart for your RV, but let's get started with your water hookups. So you absolutely want a water pressure regulator, especially if you have one of those water spigots that comes directly up out of the ground, you know, the kind with like the orange handle that lifts up like that. Those put out a lot of water pressure and inside of an RV, it's not like a traditional piping system in a sticks and bricks house that can blow your water lines and flood your RV. So you need something to make sure that the pressure is not too high and a water pressure regulator like this absolutely does the trick. All right, so as it relates to water, something else you need is a way to get that water from the spigot to your RV, and that is with your drinking water hose. So we have got two different sizes. Here is a 25-foot one for only 13 bucks. Again, super cheap, doesn't break the bank. You don't have to break out another thousand. That's gonna cost you about a thousand. And then a 50 foot one also. So you can carry one, you can carry two, but you absolutely need a fresh drinking water hose. Let's talk about something real fast that you absolutely, under no circumstances, should purchase at Walmart. And that is actually an interesting thing because it is like the majority of what they are carrying here. And that is all of these different waste tank treatments, don't purchase any of these. We've got a better one that we've been using for over two years that we're gonna tell you about. There's like a plethora. In fact, it's like Walmart went all in on holding tank treatments in the RV section, but you do not want this stuff. And let me tell you why. Our friends over at Unique Camping and Marine have a superior lineup of holding tank treatments that actually work and actually will break down that solid waste, keep your holding tanks clean. And look at this, see like here's something else, right? You got a black tank cleaner to restore your sensors. You've got all of this other stuff. Well, if you're just using the stuff from Unique, you don't have to worry about any of that. It'll help keep your sensors clean. It'll help keep smells away, which is a huge thing when it comes to tank treatments. And it will help to keep those tanks clog free. So we do want to thank Unique Camping and Marine for sponsoring this video and their continued support of our channel. Plus, we've got an exclusive discount for you in the description below where you can save 15% off of your order. All right, back to what you should get 
here at Walmart. And that is, is you do want some sort of water filter to filter that water that comes into your RV. Now, when it comes to drinking water, we actually will also, in addition to using one of these, filter the water through our Berkey system for drinking. But you want to have a way to filter that water that comes into your RV piping system, your fresh water tank, all of that. Lots of different options here for your water filters anywhere from $16 up to $33. So very, very economical for all of your water filter needs. All right, so why we're here, there's actually a few supplies that we need to restock up on. Now these are like, I guess, RV supplies that not everybody thinks about when it comes to like RV supplies and we need to restock. So we're gonna get those a little bit later because I'm gonna get them on our way out. But first let's go back to our essentials. Now, here is something else that is really super handy because RVs, for whatever reason, the way that they are built are really, really prone to condensation and moisture buildup and mold inside of RVs can be a really big problem actually. And so using something like this damp rid or a dehumidifier is absolutely essential. Now this especially we have found in spaces like refrigerators or if you do put your RV into storage, if you're just a weekender or a part-timer, putting this into those refrigerator spaces can really cut down on any odors that usually are caused by moisture, but better than that, cut down on any mold. So great product and it's only seven bucks, I mean, cheap, cheap on the cheap here at Walmart. The next product that you can pick up here at Walmart, which is super cheap, are these. Now, this is your slide out lubricant. We use this on our slides a lot because you wanna maintain those slide outs and you don't want issues with your slide outs. So you can get this for Walmart here, under 10 bucks, super great product. Now, this one is actually a rubber seal conditioner same thing, all of your slide outs have seals that go around the edges and you wanna be able to keep those seals conditioned. You're camping in all sorts of different weather. Maybe you find yourself in the Southwest one part of the year and then you find yourself in a hot, humid climate the next. You wanna keep those seals conditioned and this helps you do that. Again, these are less than 10 bucks here at Walmart. So the next thing that you can get here at Walmart are these levelers. So these blocks go underneath of your actual levelers. Now for our big heavy class A, wouldn't recommend these, but for most of your other applications for things like travel trailers, fifth wheels, pop-up campers, these work great because you can kind of like Lego brick them up to the height that you need to be able to level out that RV. So the next accessory that you can get here at Walmart, now I wouldn't necessarily call this like an essential, but I would call this something that's nice to have. We actually do have one we carry with us and we actually did get ours here at Walmart. And that is one of these camping patio mats. So especially in different areas of the country, some of your campsites might be grassy, they might be sandy. We find using one of these actually helps to keep the inside of the RV cleaner because people aren't tracking in as much of that grass and dirt and leaves and everything else. Plus, these come with a nice little handy dandy like carrier storage thing. And this is how we keep ours in our RV as well. Now these are a little bit more on the pricey side, 50 bucks, but hey, I will pay 50 bucks all day long to keep the dirt and grass out of my RV. Let's talk about something that is really just a waste of your money. And that is this specific RV toilet paper. Now, we've learned a few things. We used to think we had to have this or we were gonna clog our black tank. Oh, no, 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 no. Now, if you are using the unique camping plus marine drop-in pods that we talked about earlier, that's gonna not only digest any solid waste, it's gonna help to break down any of your TP. So actually, all that we get now is just your regular old plain chain TP and lots of water and a good quality tank treatment from Unique, and that is all you need. So you don't need to spend $3 for toilet paper that might last you for a day. No, 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 you don't need to do that. Instead of wasting your money on the RV specific, just come over and get you some of this stuff. This actually rapid dissolve, clog free. You can use this 
and save some money. You need to be able to have flexibility in camping. So whether you find yourself mooch docking at your sister's house for a month like we have, or you pull into a campground where the electrical outlet is not the same size as what you need for your RV scenario. So for instance, this is going to allow you to go from 30 amp to 15, which would be what you would use to mooch dock at your relative's house. But also there's a lot of different campgrounds. Some of them were built way back in the day. Some of them were built more recently. So being able to have the appropriate adapter to be able to plug into whatever power source that you need to plug into, whether it be 50 amp, 30 amp, or your regular household power, have some of these on hand. So we're gonna head over and pick up some supplies from Walmart that maybe not be what you would traditionally think of as what you need for RVs, but I'm gonna show you why that we always make sure we have these on hand and that's why we're gonna restock because we're out, let's go get it. Now, before that we left the RV, Alaska specifically made a request. So we need to get him what he requested. And that are some of these. All right, so this is something that not everybody thinks of when it comes to stocking up the RV and RV essentials. If you are boondocking or you just want to make RV life a little bit easier, you probably don't have a dishwasher. We don't have a dishwasher. Not very many people do. So with things like paper plates, paper bowls, plastic spoons, forks, disposable cutlery can make things a lot easier and we're actually out. So we're gonna restock on this today. Got bowls. Now I do still have a lot of cutlery, so we don't need the cutlery, but I do need to get some like paper cups because we are out of those. So let's get those. Now here's where a conundrum comes in because I'm not a big fan of plastics or styrofoam. And sometimes what's really nice is if you want to take your coffee to go, but you don't want to be lugging around that coffee cup all day long. So I think we're going to go with this. Oh, hey, look, it's a cat cave. Oh my gosh, this one's a Christmas tree cat cave. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, here's what I think. When you're living the RV life, there's a little too much excess. But yes, the cat would love it. <laughs> Whose idea was it to park in the North 40? Who who's, was that? Especially campgrounds that have one of those water spickups that comes spickups. Like cheap, cheap on the cheap. I'm just like waxing poetical today. I don't know. You should not purchase at Walmart after. So another essential that you absolutely want to have on hand are some of these electrical adapters. Adapters? <laughs> what is up with Try my to accent today with these adapters? <laughs> okay, you can put the camera down now. Takes to the gun show. There is a crap ton of it. Can I say crap ton on YouTube? Cause I just did, I say crap ton. Boondocking or even like, it's touching the shell. All right, so another great place for all of your RV essentials other than Walmart where you can still stay on the cheap is Amazon. I'm gonna put a video right up here with a hundred things. Yes, 100 things that you can get for RV life on Amazon. If we don't see you out on the road or in the next video, no. If we don't see you around the camp, Hi, my brain. If we don't see you out on the road or around the campground, we'll catch you in the next video.